going on guys, Turner of SSO. So you just got your slimline hybrid reversa bumper and you need to know how to install it. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the cuts and what tools you're going to need along for this process. So this customer came in, he uh, has a full play bumper, but uh, we're just going to be doing the slimline cuts because you have to do that anyway for a full size bumper. Um, these are the tools that you're going to need. If you want to have an uh, impact, uh, impact gun, or you can just use a uh, regular old ratchet wrench. Uh, we need a extension, half inch extension, 14 millimeter socket, and a 17 millimeter socket. I like to have a pen if you need to uh, draw a line for your cuts. Uh, one of these little things to get all the brillos off after you do your cutting. One inch. Uh, blue masking tape. You got to make sure it's one inch or else you're going to do your cuts wrong. I always like to have eye protection when you're going to be doing cutting because, you know, things could get up in your eye. Alright, so to get started you're going to want to go ahead and grab your one inch uh, masking tape and I usually like to start in the uh, middle of the bumper. You're going to want to get one side of the edge on this top line above the valence and just kind of follow that line all the way down. Getting to the edge right here is a little tricky because your tape might want to buckle up on you. Then I just like tear it off like that. And this customer already has a Viper cut done right here, but that's not really going to affect what we're doing. You want to still follow this line. Get that edge on the bottom on it. And then tear it off like that. Now, the tricky part here is for our bumpers, we need to go a quarter inch from the top point down here. And the way that I do that is I get the tape and I start right on the same line right here and then slowly start getting it off a quarter inch. So you see how there's a little gap right here. You wanna go down, make sure that's stuck and rip it off. And what I like to do is grab my pin and trace that edge that you see right there. That way you don't get off off center. So You'll be cutting on this top line and then you don't want to be following this line. You'll want to be following where you just marked off a quarter inch. Go all the way down and then you start following this line all the way down. And then you just repeat the process for the other side, which I will do in a second. So you're about to make the first cut. Forgot to mention, you always want to wear gloves too because this stuff will be spitting up, uh, you know, scolding hot plastic on you. Um, but always remember, you're going to want to cut on the top line, never on the bottom. Even if you cut on the bottom, you can always still cut on the top, but cut on the top line. guys so you just finished your cuts there's obviously some brillos that's why you get your little brillo uh, shaver and you just kind of go off and uh, get that rub it off but we'll do that in a second you need to take these two uh, bumper pieces off right here they have clips all the way around you're gonna want to push in and pull
So these little pieces right here, you wanna pull down on each side and then start pulling away and it'll come off. On these, there's three nuts on each side. You're gonna wanna get your uh, wrench or impact gun with a 14 millimeter socket. Go ahead, and take that off. Now, this guy did have the Viper cut done. Uh, if you do have a normal uh, size bumper, there will be 10 millimeter bolts on these bottom clips that you will have to remove in order to take this off. Now, once you got that off, there are still two brackets that you need to take off, and those are a, another additional three nuts on each side. And there we go. You will need to cut this uh, little plastic trim just a little bit, uh, depending on if you have a winch or not. Um, I normally just keep it in there and just kind of tuck it up a little bit. It doesn't really affect anything, but if you want to make that nice and cut, you're going to want to follow this line all the way back. And uh, you should be good to go. All right, after you're done pulling off everything, it makes it a little bit easier to get uh, your little, I don't even know what to call this thing, but it gets all the uh, little shavings off. Uh, you're gonna wanna grab one of these and just kinda go at an angle. Some of these pieces you can kinda just like wiggle back and forth and they'll pry off. Just clean it up really good. Because if you keep those on, when you put the uh, edge trim on, it will actually push the edge trim out a little bit. So this customer's got the uh, full plate bumper, but we're just doing the uh, slimline cuts for you right now. So this edge trim is a little bit longer just because this will be going uh, the full way around, but I'm just gonna put it on real quick just to show you what it's gonna look like with the, uh, the slimline. This is the method that I do, is I uh, push it on one area and I pull back the other end while pushing with one thumb down and that's the easiest way to get it on. So after you got your uh, edge trim on, you're going to want to get that 17 millimeter socket and underneath here, these little uh, side pieces have one bolt underneath that needs to come out. So a lot of people ask whenever you install a winch, uh, specifically the Warrens, because they uh, don't have the solenoid relocate kits uh, like the Smitty Belts do, they have to be in the center. That uh, solenoid will hit on this plate right here. Now, a lot of people uh, either remove this, but this takes off. If you have the TSS sensor, that's the same bracket that mounts to. So you wanna keep that bracket. What I do is, this line right here. You want to get a grinder or Dremel and cut about an inch and a half uh, up and just do one straight cut line. And then because this whole piece is a flat solid piece, you're just going to want to bend and pry that back. And after that, your solenoid should be able to fit up in there nice and snug. So uh, that's just a little workaround for if you want to install a, a worn winch or uh, any other. I think the Badlands uh, are like that as well. But yeah, it's just one simple cut and then get some pry tools and just bend that uh, piece of metal back. Hopefully that answers any of your questions. You might need to get some help with this or uh, if you're cool like me, you just do it with your knee. What I like to do is get it on one of my knees and just kind of raise it up. like that and now should be set you can come in from the top and get one nut on each side and on the bottom just screw in 
and then just start tightening it up and you should be good to go. Show you the finished product in a second. So you installed your bumper and it's having a gap on one side. We do have our holes on the, uh, the bumper slotted so you are able to move it if you loosen it up just a little bit. And you are able to pull your edge trim off just to close in that gap. And once you get it set to the way you like it, just go ahead and just tighten up all those bolts and you're good to go. You have a SSO slimline bumper.